Welcome to another video. We have finally, uh, I can say, finally finished the land of bats. And, um, well, we are now moving on to a much smaller order, the so-called odd toed ungul uh, ungulates, or per uh, perissodactyls, if you want to put it like that, which I actually quite do, being that I like to, uh, to speak the scientific language. Anyways, dear people, time for a little uh, bit of an um, no, of a review here. I think horses and their kin are some of the worst mammals to draw. For some reason, their uh, proportions and so on tend to escape my uh, pen. So. I'm going to do my very best, but do not expect that much. The species I'm drawing here is the so-called Qiyang, or the Chinese fear, um, or Tibetan um, wild uh, donkey, wild ass, as it is funnily said. So here we go. As you notice, this is quite a patterned creature, not quite like a zebra, of course, but Definitely um, one with quite a few markings, mostly in brown and white. I should actually put that as um, a basic brown with several whites and also some greys. Now, of course, these creatures have got manes, as we can see here. Upright, uh, a spiky manes. And being donkeys, they've got sizable ears. Now, this was the head. So far, so good, I think. Let's draw some hairs here. These guys can be rather hairy. And we're moving on to uh, the rest of the body now. So, the neck, here we go. Let's not forget those means, which might be the part of the horse or the donkey or the zebra, as the case might be that I like drawing the most because it's easy and it's rewarding to draw these spiky manes. Here's the throat. Now, things are starting to get difficult here. You might notice later on that um, the angle I've chosen to draw our, uh, our Kiang from is not the easiest one, but actually, for some reason, it's one that comes more easily to me than the um, than the lateral view you would expect to be easiest. Now, something I noticed while preparing this drawing is that you easily get these um, legs too long. Don't forget, we're looking at horse-type creatures here, so there's only one hoof, at least in species species still alive today. Now, these legs might actually be a bit too stout, so we can fix that a bit by doing this. Look, that makes them look shorter, uh, sorry, thinner. The patterning I'll do later. This is difficult enough. Okay, here comes the other leg. we go let's not make the same mistake we did before so let's draw this leg a bit thinner more gracile you could say from the get-go let's not forget how they attach so the chest we go now this particular kiang may not be standing entirely straight so let's consider it a bit of a handicapped animal makes for diversity shoulder it shouldn't be too weird compared to how the leg is already i'm running into difficulties here Boom. It's the belly. Let's let those means go a bit further. Here's the back, which is a bit 
which is somewhat hollow, perhaps more hollow than we do now, that the hindquarters are a bit higher than the shoulders in this species. So I hope I've been able to show that, but of course we also need to take care of the angle I'm drawing the thing in. We're doing our best. Here we go. Legs, of course. It's also the stomach, which is sizable, okay, than that we're talking about a dedicated herbivore in this creature. The hind leg. Once again, those monodactyl hooves, as they're called. Here's the other leg. Make sure it's not too far or too close to the other one. After all, we should get the idea that there's some bulk in between, but not too much. We're not drawing a rhino or a tapir here. Hey, that doesn't look too bad. Of course, there's a tail. That's easier. Fairly long tail with a sizable brush of hairs at the end. And it's dark, so that's emphasize that. Okay, now we'll draw the rest of the pattern, which is like this. You've got some white at the side of the face, which extends across the throat and over the legs. Leaving a bit of a Spike, you could say here and behind up to the uh, behind of the animal and between the legs and also on the legs themselves the white extends right to the ankles so here we go now this went a bit better than I had feared but still I'm not entirely happy well you'll have to make do here we go a key angle 